Good morning everyone and welcome to day six of my two-week challenge of uploading a video every single day for my winter break. Now today the rain has finally stopped thank goodness it has been on and off for the last two days making working outside a little challenging if you've been here for a little while you'll know that when we moved to this property there was nothing but grass and a few established trees so slowly i have been building up a bit of a garden on today's agenda i'm going to actually start cleaning up some of those garden beds that i have put in place as the grass is taking over stick around for another satisfying cleanup video i will also be revealing what my next garden bed is going to entail Kids were here when we moved in. I've I've hand dug each one of these with a shovel. But this is the type of thing I'm talking about. So lots of weeds are starting to creep in. That is not ground cover. We kind of start losing where the actual edge of the garden is. And this is just one of four beds that I hope to clean up. Oh my goodness, I gotta tell you, the motivation to keep going is really hard right now. Even though the ground is wet and it's making it easy, but at the same time tricky to work with, I am exhausted. Whew, this manual labor stuff is just not really what I signed up for today. Anyway, it's gotta get done. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna get to all four beds today. I might need to space out all this um, hard work. Oh. Let me show you what I've done so far. I've probably been at this for at least, let's have a look, an hour and a bit, not even joking. So I've managed to clean that up a bit. It's actually looking really good. Showing me how bare this bed actually is though. Um, I've done a bit on this side. I have filled my entire gorilla cart just from half this bed already. Oh, it's safe to say I am knackered. I'm gonna take my gorilla cart down, dump that load. I think I'm just gonna put it where the old pumpkin patch was. There's a massive ditch in there from the previous owners. So we are actually trying to fill it back up anyway. Oh, but I need just a couple of minutes break. So I just wanted to show you guys something. So we had a pair of plovers nest in our yard. It's probably, I think the third time they've done this. They always seem to pick the same space. It's quite sweet. We don't mind them. Um, Sin so usually just mows around where the nest is. They do nest on the ground for those that don't know. And recently we've seen the pair of them and two little chicks they did have four eggs they've seemed to have four every single time so i've just walked past the nest now because they're nowhere to be seen today and i see there's still one egg left so this egg's probably been here for about two weeks already because i noticed the chicks at least two weeks ago so that's quite sad um clearly it's not going to hatch the parents have already disappeared so yeah that's sad anyway just wanted to share that with you i just love that they keep coming back to us I think it's because we don't have any dogs or animals on the property other than the cats that live inside. Don't the trees that we did the other day just look so good? I 
think I'm going to just widen this a bit more because as you can see over here it's going to cause problems when trying to mow. Alright guys there you have it. It took about two hours to dig all of that out. I think you will agree with me that it looks so much better. So it does look rather bare and it's lacking a lot of colour. So I think when we're in town tomorrow I'm going to just try and look for some pretty plants or preferably a perennial ground cover just to fill the space. I'm not sure if you can see this but there is a little critter in here. Not really sure what that is. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I could put into this bed to liven it up a little bit with colour or some sort of ground cover, that'd be great. Let me know in the comments below. So I'll quickly show you the other beds that actually need a little bit of TLC. I'm not really sure I'm going to get to them today though. So this bed is not too bad. I did just want to come in and widen it a little bit. And then there are a few weeds on the inside. This bed, same sort of situation, I just need to widen it because this pretty purple stuff's kind of taken over a little bit. So I've got to trim it down and kind of redo all the edging. You can see where the grass is trying to grow back in. And, there's my... and then if I thought today was hard work, this bed I've been avoiding on purpose for months because it is going to be a tough job. So one of the other things I actually forgot to mention, which is a little bit exciting actually, is the fact that all the, almost all the plants in this garden have actually been given to me or I've picked up on the side of the road that people have cleared out. So I haven't actually paid for much of my garden, which is fantastic. Apart from soil, we've had truckloads delivered because most of our soil is clay. Okay, so as you know, this is our veggie garden and it's always a work in progress. But what I wanted to say today was I want to extend it by one more bed and it won't be a raised bed. It's going to be another one I'm going to have to dig out. But I'm so excited. I want to start a tea garden. So please let me know in the comments below all your suggestions on what are the go to plants for tea gardens. I thought I would start on the bed that was going to take the most work. I've only done the edging so far, but it is already looking so much better. There is still tons of work in the middle, and this seems to be the worst. But it is late in the afternoon, Sven will finish work pretty soon, so I think this is where I'm going to call it for today, guys was hoping to at least get this bed done, but I have made a good solid effort and a start. So I will see you guys tomorrow.